Yeah, about halfway. There we go. Wow. This is so cool. I can't wait to get in here and loot this freaking area, man. This is awesome. What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Hold Your Own, the survival crafting game. There has just been a huge update, 6.0.1. Normally, I'd read the update notes, but you know what? We'll go over that as we play, because I can't wait. I um, I actually saw this in the morning before I went to work, and then I was at work all day just saying, I want to get home, I want to get home, I want to get home. So we're just going to get started. Let's do this. AI settings, number of random spawns. Well, I guess six is... um is default total spawn at one time randomly in the forest i guess that's default um spawn tower guards that's default default drop pack pack on death default um story mode with tutorials we'll leave that on auto save i'm gonna turn that off because um auto save just it tends to lag me when it auto saves i could just i think it saves anytime you leave the game or anything so it shouldn't be that big of a deal i guess auto save can help you from crashing all right, I'll leave it on for now just in case I crash, but, you know, we'll see about that. If it lags me, I might turn it off. Wildlife spawn six, aggressive wildlife enabled. All right, so let's get started. So, guys, he redid all the islands. Redid all the islands. I'll show you on the map uh, in the first video. Um, addition of some small towns at the beginning of the road network. There's going to be road networks. There's going to be a lot of towns. It's going to be ridiculous. Removal of ferries to encourage the use of vehicles more often. More caves have been added, including on Dead Island, which I think is your starter island. However, that's iron only. Okay. Something had to give. We just never expected everything to go at once. The greed and arrogance, blah, blah. You can read this. It's the same one as last season. You can just go ahead and pause the video if you want to read it. Blah, de, de, blah, blah. Close. All right, so let's take a look around. Let's look in our inventory. Um, all right, now you're going to notice I did turn the grass off. That's because it makes it easier to spot stuff. I may turn the grass on again at some point, but I'm going to leave it off for now. Um, let's go into... Oh, I was thinking about turning the grass on as I was talking. So we're going to go drag that down there, drag that down there. We got some bullets. We got some water. We got some first aid kits. I'll put the actually I like these over here I think number eight and we have a torch okay so we also have some quests um right off the bat all right and I'm gonna let him know in Discord but right off the bat I kind of feel like the mini map on the bottom right hand side I like the idea of a mini map but the mini map is simply too large too large all right anyway um yeah he added more caves there's gonna be some on Dead Island which is this island but it's only gonna be iron um other resources players still need to go to caves on other islands like oil shale will be exclusively caves in the desert biome all right you'll notice right there i did get some plant fiber by chopping down the trees which is a phenomenal change um that is freaking awesome because plant fiber was a real biatch to get all right so next thing we have to do is craft a pickaxe so let's come in here and let's go into our tools and let's craft a pickaxe um someone said you don't need mechanical parts for the forge anymore is that true or for the bellows not really sure um let's take a look at the bellows oh beautiful beautiful so we just need some uh, animal hide and some leather that is really nice all trees now give five plant fibers i just talked about that uh the game now is four friendly ai uh and the addition of a new improved humanoid aggressive ai so the ai is basically the traders they're going to spawn randomly on in certain areas i'm not sure where um he mentioned it but i didn't actually write it down um so we'll have to you know i'll take a look at that in between videos uh additional drivable cars that can be purchased from the mechanic for gold drivable cars oh boy that is freaking phenomenal uh, oh man i'm so freaking excited i didn't think drivable cars were going to be in this update i really didn't um so that is just a wonderful wonderful thing all right, so let's go ahead and put... Uh, nope. Still can't shift-click or anything like that. All right, so let's come on down here, and let's go ahead and start mining some stone for our next quest. Uh, lots of new points of interest. Players should notice a huge decrease in garbage bags and backpacks scattered around the map. All points of interest now contain the bulk of loot. Most furniture and appliances can now be looted in points of interest, fridge, ovens, etc. All loot and points of interest respawn after 10 days. So there you go, guys. That's all the update notes I copied down. If you want, go on the Steam page and check out the rest of the update notes. There's a few things in there I, I didn't co I didn't copy down. I just want to get started. I'm so freaking excited. Um, so we need the planks. There we go. We'll just make all of those. Now I don't want to wait that long. How many do you want me to make? I don't know. I'll just make four. Yeah, we're going to need quite a few anyway for our first base. So let's take a look at the map. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Can I not press M for map? Oh, that's right. You got to come up here for the map. 
So there you go. We've got Frozen Island, Dry Island, Skull Island, Blood Island, Traitor Island, Betrayal Island, and Kobe Island. And this is our This Is Dead Island. This is where we start. And look at all these uh, points of interest, man. Each one of these is a town. And I absolutely am in love, love with this. Um, now, towns do respawn after 10 days. So I'm going to want to kind of live in a centralized area. I'm thinking maybe I'll live right here. Or maybe over here. I'm not really sure. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually stay in a town. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to first head to this town, and we're going to loot it. I might actually put, like, a little one-by-one -one building, like, set up there. Just a little something to get myself started. Um, I'm so freaking excited for this update. Um, and you know what? Nah, you know, I'm so torn on the grass. I was actually watching someone else play this today, and I was like, you know what? I'm really, I really should turn on the grass. It does make the game look so much better. Um, maybe after the first episode. We'll see. Definitely once we get established, I'll turn on the grass. The thing is with the grass is uh, it makes spotting things hard. Um, so that's why I, I leave it off like that. I wouldn't have saw this normally. So, all right. So let's come into town, uh, craft wood planks. We're still waiting for that. Let's do some looting while we're waiting for the wood planks. All right, guys. One of the problems I had last season was once I put up lights in my base, I started getting serious lag issues and it was because of the shadows. Um, I just put on the shadows because I think it looks a lot better. So I'm going to leave them on as long as I can. Um, I'm actually taking a little bit of an FPS hit with them, but it's, it's nothing too bad. Nothing I can't handle. Let's check out some of these new points of interest. All right. All right. So a lot of these uh, points of interest, things that, like he said 50-50 that something's going to have loot in it. And we'll have to see about that. Um, I saw some people in Discord were saying it's not 50-50. It's like more like 20% that um, there, it, stuff's going to have loot in it. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll make up for our, So far, we're at 66% on loot. So that is quite nice. Quite nice indeed. So let's try and do this somewhat systematically so I can, you know, so I can kind of keep track of where I've been and where I have it. The next thing we need to do is craft a wood foundation. Um, we're getting quest rewards, by the way, for doing these quests. I got 15 nails as a quest reward, and that is going to allow me to make my wood foundation. Uh, no, it's not, because I need to make wood pillars. How many do you get from this? Just one? Okay, so one, two, three, four. We'll go ahead and make those, and then we'll make the wood foundation. All right, let's check this place out. All right, nothing in there. Uh, is that the same loot container? Probably. So this stuff on the tables is really nice. Like I noticed there's stuff all over the place, like on the tables and stuff. But at the same time, I don't think it's really nice because I'm looking at it. I'm like, I should be able to get that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's a sword on the table and I can't pick it up. So um, I think he wants the world to feel lived in and, and you know, furnished and stuff like that. But at the same time, when I see a can of soda and I can't pick it up, it's like, oh, man. All right, so, oh, a pool table. I'll play some pool. Wait, what the hell is that line all about? I've never seen a pool table to line like that. Interesting. All right, what do we got here? Some tea, uh, tea cans, chamomile tea. Now, I think these are all the same loot container. You know what? Let's see. I'm kind of curious. Yep, it's all the same loot container. Okay, I thought so. All right. This house is almost finished. <laughs> Didn't take long. Oh, almost finished is not finished, Cage. All right, nothing in there. Oh, there we go. Wow, now that we don't need mechanical parts, I find them on the first day. <laughs> oh, man, last season and like every season before this, like those mechanical parts were a real biatch, you know? So it's funny now finding them on the first day. All right, let's go ahead and make our foundation. There we go. All right, so those two houses are done. Now let's loot this place. You're going to recognize some of these places from uh, Mist. So just be prepared for that. Although this this one I, I never saw in Mist. Um, the developer here and the developer in Mist, they use, you know, all these early access games. Well, most of them, they use stock assets as they build the game out. Uh, you know, we're playing early access alpha. So, uh, so they use these uh, stock assets as they build the game out. And then they replace them with their own later down the line. Um, so that's why you're going to recognize, if you recognize anything in here from another game, that's the reason. All right. Uh, it's very early, but I'm going to say right now, there seems to be no, not a lot of loot anywhere. I would say, I mean, someone could do the math as I'm playing if they want, but I'm thinking this is nowhere near 50%. This seems like, like the, like the other person said, like 10%. I mean, these things are all empty. Which, you know, I mean, oh, don't forget, I also didn't mention, we are playing an experimental build, which means balancing and it's not ready <laughs> so if you don't want to play an experimental you know there's probably not gonna be a lot of loot places there's probably gonna be a lot of bugs you might lose your world just be aware of that um, when you play an experimental but you know me i got to have the latest and greatest 
All right, so we came from that way. Uh, so let's do this house right here. We already did that house. I guess I can just leave the doors open of any house I've been in. And that will make things easier. Alrighty, what do we got there? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Got some books there. Maybe I could do some learning. I want to do some learning, bro. Alright. Empty, empty... Oh, can I get some toilet guns, please? I want some toilet guns. Uh, by the way, I don't know when the bandits are going to come. Um, you know, they're going to roam these towns. Uh, he actually said that the um, the bandits and stuff would respawn in the town. So if you kill them and come back the next day, they'll, they'll, still, they'll be there again. So that's interesting. And um, I'm not sure when they come. I think last time they, they didn't show up until I got to a certain point in the quest line. So, you know, I'm not going to go too far at the quest line because I don't want these guys showing up. I like to just loot unmolested. All right. So, where did I come from? I came from down there, right? Yeah, I think I did. Let me take a look at the map. I came from the north, right? No, I actually came from that way. Yeah, I came from the... That's east. So, I came from the east. Let's try and remember that. Let's grab a few more houses, and uh, now we'll make a wooden crate. Can I make a wooden crate? I don't know. Uh, yes, I can. Let's make... Oh, no, I can't. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to need a lot of these planks. And these planks, you're going to notice, take a lot of time to craft, right? Um, but don't worry about it. You will get a saw bench later. That will make it a little bit easier. I'm just going to make a few right now while we continue looting. Got a little bit of stutter there. Okay... I wonder if the doors are going to, like, close on their own after a day or something. Because right now I'm just going to leave the doors open, like, signifying I've looted the place. But that might change later on if they start closing on their own. Okay. Yeah, this loot seems really, really weak. Like, really weak so far. Um, the developer is... Um, I, I mainly deal with the developer in Discord. And the developer is has a place in Discord for feedback. I'm going to go into Discord when I'm done here. And if this keeps up, I'm going to let them know. Yeah, not enough loot, man. Not enough loot. So, we shall see. We'll see how the Let's Play goes. Did I already loot all that? I think I did. Does it say empty? Yeah, it says empty. Okay. All right, cool. It's going to drive people nuts when I loot empty stuff. That clearly says empty. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. Uh, so, yep, loot. Okay, so... Oh, there we go. We got some food. Uh, in this game, you have to deal with pro uh, protein and carbohydrates separately. So, all right, so that says loot. Will it say... Now it says empty. Okay. So you actually have to take the crosshairs off. And eh, you know what? The loot might be close to 50%. It still doesn't feel 50%, but... I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be... You know, we're going to have to do a healthy amount of looting before we get an idea of really how the loot's going to go. Okay, loot and loot. Got a little bit of clipping through the uh, through the house roof there. All right, uh, we got a few more seconds on that. So we did that one. We did that one. We came from that away. So let's get this building next. I'm gonna try and be as methodical as I can because I don't want to be going through buildings I've already been in. And I can almost guarantee you, I'm going to end up going through buildings I've already been in. But I'll, I'll try not to. Okay. Oh, nails. See, we need more of that kind of stuff. We need more nails. Oh, salt and green tea plants. Okay. We are going to have to set up our base pretty soon because I am getting full on loot. And I am not going to throw out anything. I'm a pack rat. Ooh, we got some yogurt. Some yogurt. Some yogurt. Two hours. Okay. Food does spoil in this game. So, yeah. Make sure you eat it before it spoils. If you wait for your food to spoil, you're going to have a bad time. Empty. Just making sure. Just making sure. Can I not? There we go. All right. Yeah, man. I'm digging this update. I'm digging this update. It's really, really interesting. I picked a perfect time to stop my Let's Play, you know? Um, you know, I was like, I, I really love this game and I love playing it. But there's two problems with it. It gets a little grindy and um, people don't watch it. At least don't, they don't watch me play it. So... You know, it's a little hard as a YouTuber to justify making all these videos when people don't watch them. Um, so I decided to stop my... 
decided to stop my series, but you know, I was I was not happy about it. And um, I did it at the perfect time because I got like a week or week and a half or so in between, and then boom, update. That's what I'm talking about. All right, where's that chest? All right, I think we can do one more house, and I think we're gonna place down the foundation in the chest. All right, these look like some nice old houses. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Oh, more nails. Oh, we got more nails. Thank you for the uh, quest completion. All right, so we need to craft a bed. Now, your bed is going to uh, give you a spawn point. It's also going to show where you are on the map. Right? So that will be wonderful. At least that's the way it worked before. Oh, we got some flour. We can make bread with that. Let's put some stuff down here. Clear up our inventory a little bit. I don't really like drinking and eating until I have to. Um, although this one's really good. Oh! These used to give um, plus one to wellness. Not anymore. I wonder if you did away with the wellness system. Okay. Empty, empty. Uh, loot. What do we got back here? Bathroom. So there's... Is there ever anything in the bathrooms? This looks like it should be lootable, right? But it's not. That's interesting. Alright, let's go upstairs. Got a desk. Ooh, we got some arrows. We gotta make a... Bu Whoa, what was that? Is that a quest reward? I think I got that as a quest reward. Maybe. Or maybe I just... I don't think I looted it, but... Maybe I did. Alright, cool. Let's find a place to put down our base. Um... Again, I'm going to want to put down my base, like, I think over here somewhere. Well, you know what? That's going to be my main base. Why don't we just put down a temporary base for now, like an outpost? I think that'd be pretty cool. So, I think I'm going to put down the outpost. You can't zoom in anymore. Toggle minimap. Oh, you could toggle the minimap. Interesting. It'd be nice if we could, um... Oh, you could put down waypoints. That's cool. Uh, I guess I'll just put one right there. Um, it'd be nice if we could just make that make the minimap smaller. That would be wonderful. I love the minimap. I'm a big fan of minimaps. So let's come on over here. While we're doing that, why don't we go ahead and make ourselves a campfire that's going to be under placeables. There we go. Can we jump these fences? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So we're going to need a bow um, as well today. Oh, boy. This isn't the beach I was thinking of. Uh, so build right here? I guess we, this is just as good a spot as any. Okay, so how do you raise these? Is it you? Yes, you. All right, so it looks like the trees are in the way. Um, let's go ahead and chop down the trees. Uh, this one would probably be the only one we need to chop down. The only thing I'm worried about living right where I am right now is uh, the lag. Um, it doesn't feel that bad. It's it's 40-something frames per second, which isn't bad, but it feels a little... I don't know. I don't know. It feels a little sluggish, but... You know, he's going to work on it. Like, from what I understand, these developers, when they do things like early, these um, these early releases, optimization is like the last thing they deal with. So, okay, you rotate with X, but the thing is, it won't let me rotate. I don't think you can rotate when you put your first, like, platform down. I think once you put, like, the, another platform attached to it, that's when you can rotate with the X key. So, all right, so let's go ahead and put down our bed. Where is our bed? We got a lot of stuff here. Let's go ahead and put down our bed. Um, yeah, it's a good spot for a bed. Why not? Sure, why not? Actually, no. Put it in the corner. I like my beds in the corner ever since I was a kid. I do not like my bed in the middle of the room. It just takes up unnecessary room. And then number seven, and we'll put this right at the... No, nah, we won't put it, we'll put it right here, actually. No, we won't put it over there either. We'll put it right here. I think that's where I want my first chest. You can always move these buildables. The only thing you can't move uh, is walls. All right, now we're going to put down our campfire, and I think I'll put that right at the uh, foot of my bed, because why not? Looks like a pretty good spot for it. Keep my keep my foot, my feet warm. Keep my foots warm. All right, so we can... Uh, this looks all about standard of last time. I don't see really much difference in here, which is fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to grab anything that is food or food-related. Actually, I don't know if salt is food-related. Well, whatever, I'll keep it in there anyway. And we're going to put those in here, because these do come with their own inventories. All right, so the plants, the bacon, plants, tea, tea, flour, um, anything that spoils, I'm going to keep on me because I'm going to want to eat that, I guess. Um, the thing is, I really like to clear up my inventory as well. Um, all right, well, whatever. Let's craft, a, let's craft a hunting knife. Hunting knife is a good idea. So we're going to go ahead and craft a hunting knife. See, they give you all the iron you need in the quest rewards to craft the stuff you need to continue with the quests, which is cool. Um, again, I don't eat and drink until I have to. That's an old 
like habit of mine. So in case I die, I don't like. There's no point in getting up to a hundred fullness if you if you die. So you know, no point. Uh, craft a bow. That is a good idea. I think I will do that. And then we're gonna need some arrows. That's beautiful. We'll craft some arrows. There we go. That's uh, ten arrows. And what did I run out of? Wood. All right. While I'm waiting for those arrows, I'm gonna cut down some more trees. All right, guys. Bears are no joke in this game, but I think I might want to try and take this guy out. Um, I don't really have a lot of arrows on me. Um, I don't think he'll take more arrows than I have. I have 18, but I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a few more arrows going before I attack him, and then we're gonna try and take him out. Now, for those of you who watched last season, my only death in the entire season was to a bear. So, but that bear jumped me. I wasn't ready. So, we'll see how this guy does. Now, I could probably jump up on my platform. I don't think he'll run up on my platform, but honestly, I'm not 100% about that. So, let's see what we can do here. Oh, there we go. Wow. Headshot damage. That's what it's all about, boys. Hell yeah. That's a hell of a first uh, animal kill and strip it for the quest line. That's great. It's going to give me some animal fat. It's going to give me some protein, and it's also going to give me the leather. Hopefully enough leather for the forge. Um... I don't know. Oh, and I got rewarded for two. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to make the forge today. Yeah, they're giving me they're giving me good stuff. Um, I might actually have enough right now. All right, so in order to make the forge, we're gonna have to make the bellows first, and we need the iron. We might have to go out and get. No, nope, I actually have iron right here. So let's go ahead and make the bell. Oh, you need five. Uh, you need five leather. Okay. So how do we make leather? I don't know. Um, that would have to be. Would that be our clothes? See, I would put leather on their clothes because it's something you use to make clothes, but there it is. All right, so how many did it say we needed? I probably should have looked at that. All right, so there's the leather. There's the bellows. I need three more. Is it one to one? Yes, it is. All right, so we're not going to have enough animal hide for this. Um, we need to kill some more animals. But I do have two more hide here, but just quite not enough. All right, um, so should we go out hunting or should we... Work on the base, or should we loot the 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 town? That, actually, that's a really really tough call. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make more arrows. I think we're gonna go out. I think we're gonna go out looking for animals. Take the wood. I think we're gonna go out looking for animals. Um. There. We, come on, come on, bro. There we go. Maybe we should loot the town. Nah, let's go out looking for animals. Always go with your gut. If you're not sure, like, ah, I want to do this, I want to do that, what did you think first? And then go with that. What's up, Piggly Wiggly? You going, Piggly Wiggly? I'm going nowhere. You're going in my belly! Oops. You know, this game should have, like, a real deal melee weapon. Like, like something I could smack a pig in the head with, like a sword or a, a katana or something. I don't know, something. I think that'd be pretty cool. I just tried to right-click, by the way. What happens when you right click? <laughs> you zoom in. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so is that enough? We have we need one more leather game. Come on. Come on, get out. You know what? Shut up, Cage. Stop complaining. You don't need mechanical parts. Seriously. Like what the hell? You know? You got nothing to complain about. Hey, that guy's right! Alright, let me see if I can find an animal. Man, I am not finding any more animals, guys. I think I killed the only two animals here. Um, I have been getting a lot of iron, though. I've got, like, 85 iron, which is cool. Um, chopped down a big tree. There's these certain trees that are really big. Um, normal trees, when you hit them, you get one thing of wood. Um, the big trees, when you hit them, you get two. These right here, right? I would I would mine this iron and get that tree, but, you know, I think I have to... Re I really want to get this forge up today. Um, so I'm going to concentrate on trying to find an animal to kill um, over all else. I'm also picking up berries. So that is wonderful. Berries spoil the fastest. Right click to eat them. Right? Yeah, there we go. I just ate a bunch of them. Probably too many. Because, oh, no, I'm at 94. 90, oh, there's a deer. Right on the road. Now, deer are the hardest thing to kill. Um, because they run away from you. It, unless sometimes they'll run right at you. If you're lucky. But a lot of times they just run away. So I'm going to wait until the last minute and just sprint at them. And see if I can keep up with them while I, while I pelt them with arrows. Uh, I got 49 arrows, which is really good. So, let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh. It's really hard to hit them when they're on the run. 
Oh, look at these, uh, look at these prefabs. These points of interest, man. I've got to be getting low on stamina. Yeah, about halfway. There we go. Wow. This is so cool. I can't wait to get in here and loot this freaking area, man. This is awesome. All right, there we go, guys. We now have enough. Um, there's one other thing I want to show you before we go back to base. We're going to go a little bit long on this episode. Uh, we're going to end it off with getting the forge and starting to cook up some iron, but I want to show you one more thing before we go home and do that. There we go. Uh, so let's go to the bellows. There we go. Four minutes. All right, cool. So I'm going to bring you guys over here. Uh, I, I, read, I read in the patch notes that there's, like, cacti and all kinds of different, like, like plants and stuff um check it i'm gonna leave them alone um but i was i read that they're on like the desert island but no i actually found some over here um right here on the uh on the western side of the island so that is freaking cool and this this island is the same for everybody so if i find something guys you can go there in your game and get it as well so i mean i love i love random like randomly generated worlds but at the same time there's something really nice about just knowing where stuff is all right, I'm going to leave that iron. Oh, I should get that iron. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. All right, so let's go on. See, got uh, these what, palm trees, and then I saw some cac cactus over here as well. So let's go ahead and cut these down, see what we get from these. I think these might these are the ones that give you plus 10 fiber at the end, right? 10 wood and then another 10 fiber, where the regular trees only give you 5 fiber at the end. So let's see. That's what I call a happy ending. All right, 9, 10, boom. Yeah, there you go. Cool. That is awesome. Now let me find the cacti because there's supposed to be some kind of fruit you can get from the cacti. I don't know if this stuff grows back. It probably doesn't. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Some prickly pears. Six carbs. Cool. Wow, that stays for 12 hours. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to farm it until I need to. By the way, you see that red arrow? That's my bed. That's why you guys want to put down a bed. All right, guys, we're doing a little farming, and I saw a deer, and I chased him down. He, he, the deer tends to run into the yards of the house and can't get over the fence, so he was pretty easy to kill. So that was pretty funny. All right, let's go ahead and put down this forge. It looks like we got five forged iron for doing the forge quest. Now, again, when we get to a certain point, all right, in this quest line, and last time I played, it was when we were supposed to rescue the traitor. Um, once we rescued the traitor, enemies started spawning, like, people enemies and i would like to avoid that for as long as possible oh boy um so you know we'll see how that goes all right so put that right there or right here actually i kind of like it better right there there we go now that's now this is going to keep me nice and warm at night right so all right so let's go ahead and throw all that in here now you don't want to cook all of your iron right um how do we split this i forget no really how do we shift yes hold down shift now you don't want to cook all your iron because you can't make a pickaxe with iron ingots um if you let your pickaxe break and then you don't save any iron it's game over right so we're gonna try and remember uh not to cook everything so all right so let's see how long it'll take for the iron what do we need for the nails yeah we still need the molds all right uh what are we gonna need 12 and that is five minutes. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye on this. So when the five minutes is up, we turn this off. So we don't waste any of that cooking time. Alright, guys. You know what? I think that's a good time to call it. I'm actually gonna call it here. I think tomorrow, our next video, we're gonna loot the we're gonna loot this uh, neighborhood. I'm gonna record it right now, actually. And what we're gonna do is beginning of next video, we're just gonna loot the hell of this neighborhood. I wanna finish up this neighborhood. And I want to find a cave. There's supposed to be a cave on this island. So yeah, we're gonna loot the hell of this neighborhood. We might loot a we might loot a second neighborhood. I'm not really sure if I want to loot another neighborhood or what. But we're gonna do something. It's gonna be awesome. If you end up enjoying the video, if you want to see more of this game, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, um, you know, go ahead and hit the sub button. Maybe ring the bell. You know, dang dang, ring the bell. And um, let me know in the comments, guys. Are you excited about this game? Are you playing it yourself? You know, let me know what you think. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.